ASU TV News. We'll turn things over to Brittany and Eric with a look at sports. So, Eric, what's going on in sports today? Well, the spring game's going on this Friday. We'll, we'll preview that, as well as the A-State rugby team is going in a different direction in their leadership. We'll talk about that. And there's been a decision in the Aaron Hernandez trial. We'll let you know what the verdict is, all that and more in your look at sports after the break. ASU TV News. Good afternoon. The A-State football team will have their spring game this Friday at Centennial Bank Stadium. It will be a chance for fans to see the Red Wolves in action before the regular season and also get a first look at the new football signees. The spring game will be played like a regular game with the players not being able to hit the quarterback. The team will be split into a black team and a red team. A-State will have a special coach on the sideline and that Arkansas native Angie Gallagher won the A-State head coach experience eBay contest. Contest kickoff for the game is at 6 p.m. Doors open at 4, admission is free and we'll have highlights on Monday. The Arkansas State rugby team is going to need a co new coach as the university has decided not to renew the contract of head coach Nimani Delabataki. Executive Director of Student Wellness Matt Huckabee said that Delabataki will coach the team through the end of the season. A-State is preparing for the 2015 Penn Mutual Collegiate Rugby Championship which will take place on May 30th and 31st. Well, it's official. Aaron Hernandez's life as a football player is over, and his life as a prisoner has now begun as the former New England Patriot was found guilty of the 2013 murder of Odin Lloyd. Hernandez was convicted of first-degree murder, which carries a penalty of life in prison without parole. He was also convicted of unlawful possession of a firearm and unlawful possession of ammunition. The prosecution in the trial called 130 witnesses to the stand and took many months to present their case to the jury, while Hernandez's defenses rested their case after one day. The Memphis Grizzlies take on the Indiana Pacers tonight in the regular se season finale for both teams. The Grizzlies come into the game with the playoff spot already locked up, but the seed undetermined. Memphis has an edge on Indiana in that they beat them in 97-89 on Halloween. The Grizzlies were on their way to locking up the number two seed, but after losing six out of the last ten games, Memphis wonder where they will play. Tip-off in the FedEx form is at 8.30 p.m. on ESPN. The St. Louis Cardinals are in action tonight against the Milwaukee Brewers. The Cardinals are looking to get back into the win column after dropping Monday's contest against the Brewers 5-4. St. Louis comes into the game with a 3-3 record overall. One of the things that the Cardinals need to correct in order to win the game is to eliminate the errors. Two of the Brewers' runs in Monday's game came off of Colton Wong's errors. Another thing that the Cardinals need to correct is leaving runners stranded on base. St. Louis has left 12 runners stranded on base this season. Willie Peralta will be on the mound for the Brewers while Lance Lynn will start for, start for the St. Louis Cardinals. First pitch is at 7.15 p.m. That's your look at sports. We'll be right back with more news after the break.